Well, we're off work early. I know. <laughs> Still waiting on the other guys. What do you want to do? You want to watch a movie or something? Yeah. What? What do you want to watch? I don't know. We can either do Netflix or we can just pick a movie. Uh, I don't know. I can pick a movie. All right. All right. I'll pick a movie. Hell yeah! Let's watch Gettysburg. Gettysburg. Yeah. No way, man. It's Friday night. Pick something else. Like, what What genre do you want to watch? Um, I don't know. Maybe horror? Ah. Alright. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Ah, oh, okay. How about this one? Scream 2? Sounds good to me. Man, I haven't seen Scream 2 in a long time. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Whoa! <laughs> Bringing back some crazy memories. Yes! Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I had some What are you playing? Yeah. Oh, man, I gotta go to the bathroom real quick. What? Seems no, the movie just started! I know, I know. I've seen it before. You're gonna miss the part where Jada Pinkett hey, gets I'm gonna be real quick. Quick, quick. quick. <sighs> What the hell? What the hell? Marcus, what the hell are you? This bitch is about to get This bitch knows what she's talking about. Mm. Here it comes. Whoa. It's gonna happen! Ah! Dude, did you see that? Ah! Did I shoot? I'm not. Excuse me, this one. Oh! <laughs> It's the Horror Junkies of Utah coming at you today. I have Eddie and Tracy, and I am Marcus. So, we're doing a sequel video to our Scream 1. We're going to cover Scream 2 today from 1997. Wes Craven directed it. Let's just get into this thing. What were your thoughts on this, guys? We'll go with Eddie first. My thoughts on it was actually a really good movie. It scared the shit out of me. I went and saw it at the Century 16 movie theater here in Utah, and it creeped me the fuck out. I mean, this movie was overall intense. I think I was probably... I was right at junior high right then, so it was just fucking nuts and crazy with the movie. I like the college atmosphere. That was pretty mm -hmm. awesome. I like the movie theater. That's thing. probably my favorite part. And overall, it's just a great movie. I really enjoyed it. What do you think, Tracy? Um, I really liked it. I liked how um, a lot of the main cast reprised their roles. Nev Campbell is Sydney. Courtney Cox is Gail Weathers. Um, David Arquette is Dewey. I liked, and also Jamie Kennedy came back as Brandy. So I really liked how they brought back um, all the original, yeah. or not all of them, but a lot of the original actors from the first one, so I really enjoyed that. And also the storyline of it, them going to college, following Sydney to college, I thought it, it was really good. You know, I think that's really cool, because you don't get that a lot in um, sequels. A lot of the times, other actors are playing characters. They actually got the core main cast mm -hmm. to yeah. go through this one, and not only this one, but... 
all four of them when you look at exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah. So that's awesome. I love that they did that. I love the... I'm kind of in cahoots about the college atmosphere because it feels like they're just redoing the high school atmosphere over again in college, but that's okay. What I really enjoyed is, for me, the movie made the cinema theater stuff really creepy. Yeah. I mean... Yeah, the beginning. The beginning <laughs> was just like... Yeah, oh, that was you know? nuts. It was like, what the fuck? But also, it also makes me miss that type of stuff because I remember seeing premiere movies, not during this age, but a little uh, farther down, I seen Freddy vs. Jason in the theaters and Jason X and movies like that. And people would dress up and come to yeah. these um, premieres. I don't see that a lot anymore. I still see somewhat. But back then, it was kind of a big thing with these mm -hmm. horror movies being released. So, you know, the movie itself is really good. It capitalizes on a lot of stuff. It brings back the core cast. So I really enjoyed the movie as well. Um what was your favorite aspect of the movie? Like your favorite scene, favorite... What did this movie do really well for you guys? Um, well, there, there's kind of a few things that I liked about it. So Randy, who named the rules from the first one, he came up with a few more rules in the second one, being that the death count is higher. Um, there's always more blood and gore, like the death scenes are worse. And then another thing that what it didn't make it into the final cut of the movie, but it was in the trailer, is that um, never, ever, under any circumstance, assume that the killer is dead. So I liked how he kind of brought the rules back on that, and I thought that that was awesome. What about you, Eddie? Um, I like how just the overall feel of it. I mean... My favorite parts and the overall feel I like is the movie theater scene. I just it just was awesome because you're in a movie theater watching it and it and it's and then I had to go use the restroom and I was like oh <laughs> shit what's the I'm gonna what's get going stabbed in here yeah I'm gonna get stabbed right in the ear and then I'm be dead and then my mom's be looking for me <laughs> so I mean that was just my main part that I loved about the film and. I so wish they'd do that at premieres, hand out costumes and shit. <laughs> yeah. like they did in that one. I was like, wow, that's awesome. Yeah. You were mentioning something to me earlier about one of the ladies in the opening scene uh -huh. won the part. Yeah, um, the lady that's handing out the costumes in the beginning, like, oh yeah, the stab company sent us these to send out. The lady that's actually handing them out, she won a contest that MTV was having so that she could be in the film. That's yeah. awesome. So that's, that's, I thought that's pretty yeah, interesting. That. Yeah, that's really cool that that company, MTV, that I don't really like too much. <laughs> but, I mean, that's cool that they did that and mm -hmm. put on that... Uh, little feng shui to get people involved in the movie. And it's always cool to see, like, you want a part in a movie. I've, there's a couple of movies that I know that have done that, but that's awesome. I never knew that. Um, m the thing you guys didn't like about the movie, anything? Um, I don't care for Sydney's boyfriend. I hate that son of a bitch. I what? Like, you didn't like it when I he showed up on that so table bad. in the middle of the cafeteria? I was like, that motherfucker needs to get I gutted. I hate him. his ass. You didn't like that part? Yo, how's that song go? I, I think, think I, I love, love you. you. Oh, so I'm so afraid of that. Yeah. That's when I was just faced with a jump out and cut his fucking head off. So, you don't like the boyfriend. What did you not like? <laughs> he dies <laughs> <laughs> I was pretty upset that he died and that he got killed in that dirty van <laughs> that's very true I didn't like that either when Randy dies I'm like no please come back yeah. and also when Randy, Cece dies back. the Sarah Michelle Geller, her part actually she didn't even read the script Sarah Michelle Geller. she just decided they offered her the role, and she was like, hell yeah, I'm taking this because Scream did so awesome. I want to be in this sequel. And, um, and so I loved that whole scene of her at the sorority house, and she has to like jump off the balcony and stuff, and she did her own stunts and everything for that. So I thought that that was really cool. You know what part of the movie I really enjoyed? Um, it's 
towards the beginning, right after all the carnage happens in that movie theater, and they're kind of going throughout, you know, the classes and stuff, and Randy's in there. Um, one of the killers, I forgot his name, is Mickey? in there. Yeah, they're all in there, and they're discussing The film movies. class, yeah. yeah. And they're discussing all these movies, <laughs> and they're like, well, what about this movie and this movie? I really enjoyed that, because it yeah. brought, like, cinema history into the movie itself. Yeah. Kind of like how we talk. And yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and Randy's like, and <laughs> he's like, Sarah Connor. <laughs> it's, it's awesome that they did that. Wes Craven... I think did a better job on Scream 2. Scream 1, you know, is good, but I thought Scream 2 had so much more thought put into it. And yeah, it I would just, definitely agree with you. It was, just, it, it was a stronger movie, in yeah. my opinion. It was just, it was really good. I I don't really have too much bad stuff to say about Scream 2, you yeah. know. Um, but, that being said, what did you guys feel of the whole Killers filming like, all the death scenes. Like, everyone says, oh, that didn't happen in this screen. It's the other screen. But, no, it did happen. Yeah. I mean, we got Mickey in the van yeah. filming Randy. Remember? And they all go into that theater. Yeah. And in the end, it's uh, Dewey and... Uh, uh, Gail? Uh, Gail. <laughs> and I know the names. They're, they're in the theater. <laughs> and, I mean, is that kind of like a psycho thing? Did you guys enjoy that? That they filmed? yeah, I enjoyed it. Like that was something you didn't see in yeah, a lot of movies up till course. then, and now we have all these movies. Yeah, to do that. I mean, it does not that Chrome Skull guy doesn't he film Chrome his, Skull? Yeah, he has his a little camera, camera on his shoulder. It's like a reoccurring really thing yeah. now, but I thought that was one of the first movies that I had seen that oh, the killers are actually using video cameras themselves. Yeah, and now it's kind of all over the place. I thought that was yeah. interesting. Uh, also in this film, the two killers, they don't, you never see them um, talking to each other or anything like that before it comes to the end and it yeah. shows them together. So I thought that that was kind of interesting, but it doesn't show them interacting whatsoever. So you yeah. don't know how they like met up or how this whole thing started between. What about the motive? I mean, the whole motive of the film. What do you guys feel about that? I mean, we all know the motive, but... What was your interpretation of the motive? I want to be famous. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I get to. I want to be famous. I'll make it. <laughs> oh, man. I love it at the very end when uh, Sydney is like, you can never be sure. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> and just right in the head. You know what's interesting is that Nev Campbell and... Um, what was I going to say? I know all the names. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Scratch that. <laughs> that was interesting. <laughs> that was very interesting. Never mind. <laughs> but, but I mean, so for you guys, um, Scream 1 or Scream 2, out of out of these two, which one do you enjoy more? One. Tracy, number one? I'd have to go two? I would go with two. I enjoyed it way more. I liked two better as well, you know. Oh, I know what I was going to say. Okay, back I to liked, Tracy. I liked how in the first one... How it has Nev Campbell and Ski Ulrich, who's Billy, and um, they they were both in the craft together as well, which I will be talking about in an upcoming video. In a Monday movie, yeah. (laughs) She's going to be talking about it in a Monday movie. But yeah, I do like the first one better. That does not reflect all of our opinions, okay? Okay. I I like the first one better. This one, I would... If we're rating it or anything, I'd probably give it a six. Six? I'd probably put uh, Scream to about an eight. I would have to agree with an eight. So please remember to like and share our page on Facebook. We are really appreciating all of you guys' feedback and everything that you guys do. Uh, we are on YouTube, obviously. Subscribe to us. We love it. And also, we are on Instagram. We post a lot of stuff on there, so make sure to go over there and follow us. All of our content is original, and it's all improvised, and it's so <laughs> much fun hanging out. And I hope you guys are enjoying all of our videos that we post. None of this stuff is scripted, especially like drunk trivia. I want to <laughs> give like a shout out to Fright Rags. Orca, yeah. You remember that little joke? Hey, if anybody watched our drunk trivia, you'll know. <laughs> but, rags. but check out my 
shirt, which is from Rock Rebel. So have <laughs> a good night, you guys. Bright rags. Have, have a good night. Bright rags. Shout out to you. <laughs>